Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will study about few numericals. We will be continuing the numericals of chain and tape corrections. And uh, so the first question says that the area of the plan of an old survey plotted to a scale of 10 meters to 1 centimeter now measures as 90.5 centimeter square as found by a planimeter. The plan is found to have shrunk so that a line originally 10 centimeter long now measures 9.5 centimeter only. A note on the plan states that 20 meter chain used was 9 centimeter too short. Find the true area of the survey. So in this, there are two 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 things to be noted down. The first thing that the plan has shrunk, and the second thing is that all the measurements that were made earlier were made with a defective chain. Since there is there is a uh, statement that is given at the end that the 20 meter chain used was 9 centimeter too short. That means you have to apply a standardization correction as well. So these two things you have to keep in mind in this question. So first of all, you are given with you just note down the data. The original scale is given as the OS. OS means the original scale. The original scale is given as 1 centimeter is to 10 meters. So that means the original scale is 1 is to 1000. Now to calculate the shrunk scale or RS. RS means reduced scale. You have to multiply this original scale by the shrunk factor. What is the shrunk factor? You are given that a line that was originally 10 centimeter now measures 9.5 centimeters. That means 9.5 by 10. So the reduced scale is now 9.5 is to 10,000. So this is the reduced scale. Now see in the question it was given that the present area is 90.5 centimeter square. So you have to calculate the area on field. So area on field will be calculated as 80.5 divided by the square of this. You have to do the square of this because it is related to the area. If it would have been given as length, then you have to divide it by RS. But now you have to divide it by the square of RS. That means 9.5 times 9.5 and 10 to the power 4, the square of 10 to the power 4. So now it will turn out when you will convert it into meter square, the area on the ground will come out to be 100. 27.70 meter square. So this is AG. AG means the area on ground. Now you have to apply the correction for standardization. So the for correction of standardization, what you have to do, I already told you L dash multiplied by length of chain, actual length of chain divided by designated length of chain. But since here it is not length, here it is the area. So you have to do the square of this and you have to replace L by A dash. Now the area is 10027.70 times. What is the actual length of chain? The actual length of chain will be 20 centimeter minus 0 0.09 centimeter. So this will be the actual length. It will turn out to be 19.91 meters. Sorry, meters. And what is the designated length of the chain? The designated or nominal length is 20 and you have to do the square of this. So when you solve this, the actual area will turn out to be 9937.6538 meter square. So I hope you understood how to apply both the corrections. One is for the shrinkage correction and second is for the standardization correction and just remember whenever you apply the standardization correction in case of areas then you have to do the square for this whenever you apply the standardization correction in case of volumes then you have to do the cube for this so you have to make the changes accordingly now moving to the next question the next question says that the length width and height of an embankment were measured with a 30 meter chain and volume of embankment was calculated as 524.6 meter cube later it was found that chain used was 12 centimeter too short find the true volume of the embankment again so you have to apply standardization correction but here is the case for volume so first of all let us write down few things like designated length of chain 
डेजिग्नेटेड चेन लेंथ इज इट इज इक्वल टू यू यूज अ थर्टी मीटर चेन ओके नाउ वट इज द एक्चुअल लेंथ ऑफ चेन एक्चुअल लेंथ इज इक्वल टू थर्टी माइनस पॉइंट वन टू सेंटीमीटर्स सो इट विल टर्न आउट टू बी ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट एट मीटर्स दिस इज पॉइंट वन टू इज इन मीटर्स सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल लेंथ ऑफ चेन नाउ यू जस्ट हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फैक्टर द फैक्टर इज ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट एट एट डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी एक्चुअल डिवाइडेड बाय द डेजिग्नेटेड बट यू हैव टू डू द क्यूब ऑफ दिस दिस इज द फैक्टर now you for getting the true volume you just have to multiply the measured volume by this factor so what is the measured volume the measured volume is 524.6 and the factor is 29.88 divided by 30 and the cube of this so the true volume will come out to be 518.33 mm. meter cube so this is the required volume so you understood the concept of standardization in every case you have to remember that whether the volume is to be corrected whether the area is to be corrected or whether the length is to be corrected so now moving to the last question of chain and tape correction in which i have uh, absorbed almost all the type of corrections so this is a question for chain and tape correction and the question says that the base line measured with a steel tape gives an approximate length of 1000 meters you are given the length as 1000 meters this is l dash this is the measured length now you have to compute the correct length of the base line at mean sea level that means you have to apply mean sea level correction as well now the pull at standardization is equal to 15 kg that means p not is given as 15 kgs now the applied pull is given as pm is given as 23 kgs now what else are you given with you are given with the cross sectional area a 0.0645 cm square you are given with the young's modulus of elasticity as 2.11 times 10 to the power 6 kg per cm square you are given with tm and t not tm is given as 35 and t not is given as 15 degree celsius you are given with alpha thermal coefficient expansion ka it is 10 to the power minus 6 per degree centigrade difference in the levels of the two ends of the baseline that means there is an alignment correction also involved slope correction jisse hum kehte hain wo bhi involved hai so in that case what is h the h is 2 meters the radius of curvature is 6400 kilometers and the elevation of base line above msl h1 is given as 1000 meters so is data say you might you might now be clear ki kya kya corrections aapko apply karna hai aapko you have to apply pull correction you have to apply temperature correction you have to apply mean sea level correction you have to apply slope correction so these are the four corrections i guess that are needed to be applied no else correction is required so let us i am rubbing this data that i have written i just wrote it for your convenience you can refer it from the question now now i am applying the correction one by one let us first apply the correction for pull so this is the pull correction and you know what is the correction for pull it is p pm minus p not into l by ae you know what is pm you know what is p not pm is 23 p not is 15 and the length that you measured is given as 1000 in the starting of the question and you are given with a and e since area is in centimeter square and e is in kilogram per centimeter square so you need not change the units it will cancel out by kilogram by kilogram and you will be left with meters so now just write down the area 0.0645 Times two point one one times ten to the power six, and when you will simplify it, the correction will come out to be zero point zero five eight seven eight meters. Do not forget to write the sign along with it, since it is positive. I am not mentioning any sign, 
let us mention it here it is positive since pm is greater than p not i already told you ki iska jo sign hai depends on whether pm is greater or p not is greater here pm is greater than p not hence the correction for pull will be positive now let us apply the second correction it is the temperature correction the temperature correction is equal to l dash alpha tm minus t not it again depends the sign again depends on tm and t not what is l dash l dash is 1000 what is alpha alpha is given as 11.5 times 10 to the power minus 6 what is tm and t not it is 35 minus 15 since tm is greater than t not this correction is also positive so it will turn out to be 0.24 meters and it is again positive now let us apply the correction for slope i am rubbing the correction for pull now now i am applying the correction for slope you know what is the formula for slope correction it is h square over 2 l dash since you are not given with the theta you will not use that 1 minus cos theta times l dash wala formula you have to use h square upon 2 l dash you are given what with h the h is 2 it is let us square this 2 times 1000 now since this is always negative i already told you it is always negative so you have to take this negative sign with it and it will turn out to be minus 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 meters remember this is negative do not forget to mention the sign along with it now the last but not the least correction and it is the mean sea level correction it is also important mean sea level correction you know what is the formula for mean sea level correction minus h1 l upon r l dash sorry uh, so what is h1 h1 is given as the difference in the height of the measurement and mean sea level is given as 1000 and the length measured is also given as 1000 meters what is the radius of curvature the radius of earth is given as 6400 kilometers you have to convert this kilometers into meters by multiplying with a factor of 1000 so this cancels out and after we solve this this turns out to be minus 0.15625 meters again this is negative do not forget to mention the sign again now you have to combine all these corrections you have to take the algebraic uh, sum or subtraction of these uh, corrections and after that you have to apply it to the actual correction so i'm rubbing all this and the combined correction let us write combined correction as cc it will be equal to 0.05878 this was positive again the second one for temperature was positive and the next two were negative minus 2 times 10 to the power minus 3 and minus 0.15625 see you can you can easily see here you can easily observe that this correction is very less and see this correction is very important you cannot ignore the correction for mean sea level this is to the power of 10 to the power minus 3 but this is just one point away from zero one point away from decimal so these both these corrections are very important the correction for pull is lesser important as compared to that for temperature and mean sea level but the correction for mean sea level is very essential to apply so after you simplify this equation the combined correction will be equal to 0.1405 meters now see this is coming out to be positive so the actual length will be greater than the measured length the corrected length will be now you have to add this to corrected length if this would have been negative then you have to subtract so it will come out to be 1000.1405 meters so this is the corrected length after applying all the corrections so this is how you go for chain and tape corrections for any kind of correction you just have to apply the formulas you have to remember what the term means and finally you have to uh, determine the correct length So this is all about this thank you